Today's collectible spot, turn it around. We're having a look at the Sonic the Hedgehog buildable figures. The real irony to this is the fact that while I could not find these initially when they were in retail, Spot ultimately found these at the Dollarama. How, how did that work out? I don't know, but somehow fate landed, Lady Luck landed me with a chance to finally pick these up, these Sonic the Hedgehogs buildable figures. Now this comes to us from Gachitomi, and Gachitomi, surprisingly, well, really to no surprise of, of my my thoughts at least, to no surprise, I have always found Gachitomi does a really good job when it comes to these blind bag containers. Generally, you get a really good buildable figure inside. Now, I got three of them. I actually got three Sonic balls here. There are some air holes on the bottom that would allow Sonic and any other character that's inside the Sonic ball to breathe. Without that, you know exactly where it would go. He would suffocate. Um, I don't know which we actually get in this set, so... The only way we'll know is we'll open the first one and then go from there. I got myself Old Red. Old Red, my trusty knife. What? You don't name your knives? Well, you know, I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to judge. If you're one of those people that don't name knives, there's, not, there's nothing too strange about that. I'm only kidding. It's, you know, Spot's only kidding. Let's open this up, though. Find out which one we first got from Gachitomi. Take the wrapper off. <clears throat> I guess, really, if you wanted to repaint these, these would make excellent Pokeballs. I'm also just throwing that out there as well. Even, even still, the fact that there's air holes, your Pokemon <clears throat> would not suffocate. Let's open up the first one. Find out which one we got. And inside, I'm just going to put that down. Open up the pamphlet. And it looks like we've got Sonic, we got Werewolf Sonic character, we've got Gold Sonic, Robo Sonic, I don't know all these names. Knuckles would be kind of cool to get. We get a regular Sonic. Cool. Collect all six. It'd be nice if Spot actually got one of each and at least I got three of them. The first one we got is uh, Robo Sonic. I'm sorry if that's not his correct his correct name. I'm telling you right off the bat now, for how much I actually play Sonic the Hedgehog games, I think his name is Robo Sonic or Sonic Robo or Spot. His name is this. Okay, thank you, Alexander. That was very nice of you to tell Spot. Um, let's see. If we can put these together here. I assume, am I putting this the right way? I have to ref Don't tell me I actually have to reference the picture. Oh, geez. If I have to reference the picture, there's all hope is gone. Okay, I think I got that right. I'm gonna put the head on, like so. Arms. Remember, thumbs always go in. Thumbs go in. That's how you always know which arm, arm to put on. Unless you know of somebody that has thumbs on the outside. It's possible. I've seen stranger things. Stranger things, indeed. Put the other leg on here. And uh, there you go. This one feels a little flimsy. But you got yourself Robo Sonic. The robotic Sonic equivalent. The paint's really good. I mean, it feels flimsy. It's very, as you can see, it's rubbery. It has no articulation to speak of, even in the head. I mean, it's it's slotted, as you saw. You see how it's slotted? There's no way that you can turn that, obviously, because it's sitting on a square peg. But for the most part, it's pretty neat. I mean, as a as a if I was a Sonic fan, like a diehard Sonic, I'm always more of a Mario fan than Sonic. But if I was a diehard Sonic fan, I would really love these, and I still love them. I think they're really neat. A, a display base would also have been nice too. But uh, overall, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm I'm really impressed. So we have Robo Sonic, or whatever the character is named. That is the robot version of Sonic. Let's open up the second one. 
Yes, you would be right, Jacob. I did pay $2 a piece for these. Let's open up the second ball. Find out which one we got. Pamphlet we'll put aside. Oh, and we actually got a Sonic. Nice. And let's just put the Sonic ball down. Get my knife in there again to get the package opened up. Oh! Did you see what happened? Sonic's head flew and went underneath the... It's like the shell game, but we're putting Sonic's life on the line. How's that for stakes? All right, gonna put the arm on. The arm seems to be loose. Loose arm. There you go. You know, if I don't keep any of these, or if, sorry, if I was to keep one of these and I was gonna get rid of all the others, which I don't know, I probably won't. I do like these. That Sonic is awesome. That Sonic would look cool right on a desk. He's like, hey, I'd be like, oh, what a day at work. Nothing's going right. I got to get these papers done by the end of the day. What am I going to do? And then I can look down and Sonic's right there and he, he's saying, you can do it. You can do it. Are you sure? Yeah, I believe in you. Well, maybe you're right, Sonic. Of course I'm right. You can do it. You're right, Sonic. I can do it. Thank you. No. Thank you. I like that. That's definitely... He's got a little bit of paint imperfection, as you can see right around his nose area. The white of his eyes has bled down, or this area just hasn't been painted enough. But for the most part, I'm really digging it. This is definitely my favorite. Robo Sonic feels a little flimsier, but actual Sonic... I like, I like quite a bit. So I'm gonna put him down, and finally we have one last, one last Sonic the Hedgehog ball. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get inside? Let's hope not a duplicate. This one feels like it's a little heavier. And inside, these are not the easiest to open. I might add. Inside, <laughs> inside. There we go. There we go. Inside. <gasps> We got ourselves Knuckles. For those who didn't know that, I actually have just given it away. We got ourselves Knuckles. I don't know of many people that actually don't like Knuckles. I think he's an awesome character. Again, I don't play, I don't play Sonic very much. I used to play Sonic when I was younger. I was always the, I was always the Nintendo guy. My friend, one of my friends was the Sega guy. So you can kind of see where it was going. You might have had a similar experience when you were younger. When we wanted to play the Nintendo games, I was the guy. I was the go-to guy, as it were. When it was Sega's turn, yeah, we definitely went to his house. His mom would make us chocolate milk. Chocolate milk and Sega, that was the way it went. Or Altered Beast, that was also another staple whenever I went to his house. And lastly, the crowning jewel, as it were, we're going to put the top of his hair on. That is neat. Look at that. Knuckles. He lives up to his name. Look at those spikes going on on his knuckles. Some nice detail going on in his boots. Paint, again, is really solid. While there was a little bit of imperfection with Sonic, Knuckles, for the most part, walked away pretty imperfection free and I dig it if only it was articulated that was that's the only drawback but I'm not gonna find too much fault in it overall I'm very impressed very impressed indeed yeah I think for the most part it was well worth the wait I know it took forever for me to find these but I'm, I'm certainly glad I did now if I could go back and maybe find the others I think really at the end of the day I'm happy with the ones I got Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the Gachitomi Sonic the Hedgehog buildable figures. Inside these little spheres of delight, we got ourselves some really neat Sonic collectibles. Thanks for watching as you always do, guys. Certainly stick around. More collectible spots are heading your way. I'll see you guys next time.